The Moorhead High Spuds began their quest for a first ever state hockey title today. The Spuds met St. Paul Johnson in the first round of the AA playoffs. And the Spuds had to rally from behind in this one. Early first, Johnson's Matt Kephart. The blast from outside the blue line. It was 1-0 Governors after one. Spuds tied in the second on the power play. Ryan Frisch beats Matt Magnuson between the pads. 1-1 the score. Governors regained the lead 2-1, but then the Spuds took over. Troy Bagney, his 32nd goal of the year. Game was tied at two. A minute later, Matt Cullen deflects in Joel Jamison's shot. Cullen's 43rd goal. It was 3-2 Spuds after two. Third period, three minutes left in the game. Brian Nelson follows Jamison's shot. 4-2 Spuds, and then they close the deal. Shorthanded, Joel Jamison scores, and the Spuds win it. The final score was 5-2. They will meet Rochester Mayo in the uh, semifinals. Mayo won 5-4. Matt Cullen, by the way, is now the Spuds' all-time scoring leader with 84 points. Well, for the third time in four years, the Moorhead High hockey team will skate in the state championship game. Tonight, the Spuds advanced with a surprisingly difficult semifinal win over Rochester Mayo. First period, Mayo takes a 1-0 lead. Tony Grosso stays with the rebound and scores. It was 1-0 Spartans after one. Second period, the Spuds tie it. Mark Cullen to Brian Nelson, and he puts it away. Game was tied at one. And then on the power play, Matt Cullen scores from right at the doorstep. Two on Spuds led it after two. The third period was a wild one. Mayo fought back and tied the game at three on this goal by Jason Noterman. It remained tied at three until just over a minute remained in the game. Spuds shorthanded. Brian Nelson, the shot. Mark Cullen scores on the rebound. Spuds up 4-3. Game over, right? Wrong. As time winds down, Tony Grosso scores another one to send the game into overtime with 20 seconds left, the goal coming. They needed two overtimes to decide, and early in the second OT, Matt Cohen smoked one in from this point. Spuds escape with a 5-4 overtime win. They're a great team. I mean, they did everything they could, and they did a lot. I mean, they did as much as anybody has, and, and you got to give them a lot of credit. It's too bad they can't play in the finals, but, you know, you got to give us some credit, too. We played real well, and, you know, finished pretty well, so we're happy with what we, we accomplished tonight. What a dandy. Moorhead wins at 5-4. to four. They will play either Duluth East or Edina. That game just getting underway as we speak because of the uh, lateness of the Moorhead spot.